Hello guys, I hope everybody's doing okay tonight. Here's another quick one that's showing you guys how to make a rotary device, rotary attachment, whatever you want to call it, using your own laser cutter uh, with the files that I already provide on the, on the page and some links with the components that have to be uh, purchased out of uh, whatever place you think it will be cheaper. And uh, in my case, I use Amazon, I have Prime, so everything comes next day and it's very cheap also. So let's start showing here real quick how this is all about. So it's a acrylic plate holding two motors, NEMA 17 motors and a 60 teeth pulley and uh, a cover with a couple O-rings on it. I think you're already familiar with this thing. And people were showing, why two motors? Well, the reason is, this thing is only, you can find this for $8.90 or something like that. So maybe you can find both, you know, sets or, you know, two motors for less than 20 bucks, okay? And this uh, 60T, Five millimeter board pulleys are eight dollars also these extrusions here we are talking about like three and a half bucks we need three of them because the third one we need to cut it in half in order to make this vertical post right here and what else so it, it consists cutting four plates okay the motor the motor plate Free rear plates, there's two of them. I'm gonna explain why. And just an end plate right here. And uh, the, the way I have this free wheels mounted on this um, um, acrylic plates, and why I have two of them, you can use only one, the big one. But the good thing about having this small one is because it's serve as a guide to this vertical pose. So every time you gonna be lifting this up and down to adjust whatever piece or cylindrical object object you're gonna be putting in, it will rise, you know, pretty straight up and down. So that's why I have those uh, two of them. Uh, that second one, small one, serving as a guide. Also, you need four of these B wheels and uh, for the purpose of this project I don't put the uh, open builds link because those wheels in open builds are much better than this one that I'm using those wheels in open builds are designed and uh, to use it in a you know very good machines and these ones are very cheap the bearings are not that good so, but for this purpose, you know, for a free wheel, is they work excellent. And actually, is one of them, Amazon. And you need to buy five, a pack of five or a pack of 10. And uh, it's like $10. So maybe if you share with your friend or whatever, you can share the, you know, the parts that doesn't came only one or two. And that way you can reduce your cost for this uh, build. And also you will be needing this um, small O-ring that is fitted right here. Okay, that goes in between the two wheels. And you will notice the two wheels spins completely freely. So this is very straightforward, guys. I already posted how you can wire these two motors in series so you have only one connection to the end and connected to whether whatever um controller board that you're using okay and uh here the screw that is holding the free wheels this is a 50 millimeter millimeter m5 screw m5 lug nut and we have a six millimeter aluminum spacer. Those are available in open builds also. And we need some 
mini chims. Those are one millimeter um, um, aluminum chims, and you need two on both sides. One of the here and one between um, between the two wheels in order to make them to move completely freely. Another two five um, M5 nuts and uh, the screws to hold the bolt plates and this plate and this plates, all of them are M5 15 millimeter um, low profile screws. And obviously you will need eight M3s, eight millimeter long screws to hold the motors. Guys, that's it. I already tested. I should um, post the video on the group side. You can see this thing. And you will notice how straight this engraving came out. There's one little secret, guys. When you are fitting these pulleys, be sure that the separation from the plate to the base of the pulley are the exact the same um, distance. In my case, you can use whatever you want. I use these rods that I have handy right there and with that I just you know make sure that both um, pulleys are per perfectly um, in distance from the from the plate and that will prevent the object from sleeping when it's turning so guys this is it it's very simple and very affordable to do one important thing that if you order those extrusions from open builds or from whatever you want it, you need to tap those. At least these two, you need to tap them with M5 thread. Obviously I have the tools, but if you don't have the tool, you can ask them for do it for you. I don't know if they charge more or not by doing that for you. Another good way to adjust the uh, freewheel plates, obviously, let me this real quick here. When you, you need to adjust this for a jetty or normally you guys are using, I don't know, Walmart jetties, any, any, whatever tumbler that you have that you need to adjust just to have a nice parallel um, surface to the uh, laser head try to make a jig in my case if I'm going to uh, engrave a 20 ounce jetty tumbler I build this and what I do every time I'm going to adjust this thing I just unscrew these two um, screws put this thing underneath lift it up screw right away and I have my jig for different type of tumblers and this will help you to have this thing also, you know, not twisted. And it will prevent and help you a lot to prevent this slipping um, situation. Well, guys, this is it. I hope you like it. And uh, very cheap. I think we're talking about like $50 total investment. Make it by yourself. And... Uh, it, it works. <clears throat> I already showed you in the video, it, it really works, guys. And it's more simple thing that start doing, you know, stuff like this, okay? Like you have bearings, seats and bearings and pulleys and tensioners and belts and chaff and all that kind of stuff. And it's how simple you can do it by yourself. I hope you like it. And, uh, for you guys that are going to try to do it, I wish you luck. Any questions, let me know. I will help you. And uh, I know you will success doing your own rotary device. Okay, guys? See you next time. See you.